pretty special. It's something that I was trying to be very conscious of not letting myself get caught up in that, defending titles, mm -hmm. that they were up for grabs again. Yep. So that was really important for me to take that mindset that there was no entitlement, that there was no approach of, I've had this before. It was more a process of, I know how to win this race, mm -hmm. so I need to continue and use that experience to know when to, when to eat, when to get on the rollers, when to warm up, when to warm down. Those things are actually extremely crucial and you only learn them the hard way by eating too close to a race. When you're on and off the bike all day, you really do struggle to get in any solid food. So since I got to the track at 11, I've had one plate of rice and a whole bunch of energy gels and some bananas, but it's about distribution of your food and distribution of energy on and off the track. So it's it was pretty cool to have everything come together and then Again, you can take faith in the process when it all goes right and when something wrong happens, you're able to then regather your thoughts pretty quickly and then make the most of an opportunity. That computer processor of a brain you've got must go at 100 miles a minute to go to think through all those things in a race that lasts such a short amount of time. I think it has to become instinctive and the only way it can become instinctive is by learning. Mm -hmm. The biggest goal is to try out learn your opposition, that's mm -hmm. the only way that you can get better. If you outlearn them in terms of a training method, it means mm. that you train better and you turn up faster. But also with that decision making, it really has to be super sharp and you have to have confidence in understanding all of the opportunities in the race and then being able to see the one for the rider you're against, the gear ratio they're riding, where you're positioned on the track. So it, it has to become very intuitive and it requires a, a good level of flow between your legs and your head. And that's something that I'm always chasing and tonight was a pretty special night where I had all of those things in line. You're being pretty modest, you worked this guy out. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a class act, he, he had silver at the World Championships in the sprint but I knew that there was a, particularly in the first ride, I knew that there was going to be an opportunity and I knew that he rides very very similar to this very frequently yeah. and I knew this opportunity and had almost been waiting for my opportunity to race him to use it. So. Yeah, it was really important and I think I made really good gear choices throughout the whole day, particularly against him. And I think that that, that helped me then just put it all together and you know, we've got such a good team behind us. Yeah. We have our video analyst up in the stand who's recording the other races and doing calculations on what gear ratios my opponents are on. And to have all of that information, it, it just becomes power to us because yeah. it helps us with our decision making. Yeah. So to have the team behind me, it means that I can get fed really good information and then process it rather than trying to have to work out some of that stuff myself. So it just expedites the process incredibly. You're usually fairly understated in your celebrations, but tonight there was a few fist pumps in the air. Obviously you were pretty stoked that everything came off the way it did. Yeah, it was pretty special to, to win. Had my, my parents and my sister and auntie and uncle in the crowd and just the atmosphere in there was incredible. Yeah. And to get it, particularly when Jack came so yeah. fast in that last <laughs> ride, when I biked through it was so close I wasn't sure if I'd actually got it oh, yeah. so I rolled half a lap and then normally you know you've won so you, you deal with it a little bit better but when I was rolling around looking at the big board waiting and then when the light goes green next to my name that's just a massive rush of adrenaline and it's a super special euphoric moment and that's that's what I race my bike for I absolutely love it that split second makes yeah. the days months years of hard slog all worth it and that big Kiwi contingent up in sort of the right hand corner of the velodrome going nuts, special wave to them, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, it's so cool to have so many Kiwis here, it's the closest that will come to a home games yeah. and yeah, to see so many people that have come out, familiar faces, it's, it's just mind blowing and the velodrome is a really special venue, It just so audible that when people cheer you feel it, yeah. so to then have those cheers for me was yeah, incredible. And I know you're about the process and the execution as much as you are about the result, but just how cool is it to have two Commonwealth Games gold medals on the Gold Coast as a sprinter and of course as a New Zealander? <laughs> it's super special. It's something that yeah, we spend our whole careers chasing and something that you feel to a certain extent, maybe at the end of your career when you have hindsight, you look back and, back and say that that defines your career. But day in, day out, you're looking to you know, follow processes and do yourself proud in terms of how you conduct yourself on and off the bike and your whole professionalism. So to then have something like this, it means that I can step back and really enjoy the whole process and everything that went into this. Yeah. 
because there's a lot of slog that goes in when you're not overly enjoying yourself and it becomes pretty tough so to then have this it it just makes all of it worth it so it's uh yeah very special and now you can take a deep breath exhale and head to the athletes village and scoff down some kangaroo pies and plenty of ice cream <laughs> no nah, none of that campbell stewart's my roommate actually so very <laughs> special to see him get silver and then he's back up tomorrow so it'll be in bed as soon as we get back to the hotel really <laughs> a little bit more food and bed so hopefully uh yeah camel can get up for a good good race in the points race you look really strong tonight so is that tricky having to stay quiet when you'd really love to celebrate no 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 it's, <laughs> that's where the team culture comes yeah. into it and and i want to see my teammates succeed and then as soon as the the racing's done then then you can relax it's all, all of us are doing everything we can to help each other out. And then once that's done, you can head to the village and cheer on the rest of the Kiwis and soak it all up. <laughs> I'm, I'm only going to be able to enjoy it for one day. I've got to head back to New Zealand and then up to Japan again for some more Kieran racing. So it's uh, no rest for the wicked. Uh, busy is good, so <laughs> it's nice. And um, mate, what are you going to do to celebrate when you do get a chance to sink in, see your family and friends? Do you think you'll do anything special? thought that far ahead you know it's pretty special to have my family there to be able to give them a hug and then when we can actually get a proper chance to talk that'll be when you know, when, it, when it's a special moment yeah. it's something that I've worked so hard for yeah. but that doesn't even compare in my opinion to what they've done to support me you know through my whole upraising but also the fact that they've come here mum and dad now live over in Sydney they've driven a thousand odd K up the coast and so to, to have them you know being right in there behind me is just yeah an incredible feeling and something that you know does take you back to your childhood that you know that your parents are there yeah. to support you it's yeah very special and after days of subsisting on rice and energy gels what's your first big meal you have to celebrate i don't know if anything's open it's just before <laughs> midnight so it might be like i don't know might have to go to the petrol station for a bag of corn chips or something i don't know i genuinely don't know what's open so hopefully Mate. there's some food for us back at accommodation. Make sure you blow on the pie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, <laughs> always blow on the pie.